Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Kay here. I'm here today to share a little um, something very much on trend. It has taken me a bit of time but that's not why I've not been around. There's been lots of things going on and it's just been impractical to try and um, you know finish this and do all the other things that needs to be done. Life is such as it is. Um, this is a journal, more a writing journal I think, the way it's it's come about and it's in the style of the waterfall which is all the rage currently. If I just open up you'll see all the pages there. I made this in a very very traditional way by measuring and cutting out each of the sheets individually. There are some fabulous uh, tutorials available now which will cut the time in half but for the purposes of this and for the Summer Meadow digital kit designed by Artie Mays I wanted to make something smaller. It is not um, a full journal size by any means and as I say there are lots and lots of pages that can be used purely for writing so it's almost a journal styled diary if you like. Um, the size of it I will just give you measurements very very loosely. Seven approximately from front to back. Oh dear I've got something funny on that. Sorry about that. And then it is six and three quarters roughly speaking in height. So it's a nice nice little if you I can only say if if you hold it it feels comfortable in your hands. It's not cumbersome or weighty. I still don't think it would fit in your handbag or anything of that nature but to have it loose on a on a cupboard top or something so that you can write in it on a daily basis wouldn't go amiss. The kit itself is true to Artie Mays. A, a beautiful beautiful kit. I have a real affinity with this kind of watercolour brushed effect. I don't know if it was it was meant to be that way but uh, there was a, a, a previous kit that was labelled watercolour and I just absolutely adored it so when I saw this I just had to get it. It is just an absolute delight. I have uh, reinforced the spine by wrapping this deep um, lace ribbon trim around the spine and then use these two little flowers to set off the back and the back again is more of the wonderful kit although I've not put any of the glitter on there. I don't know how many pages there are. I know it took me quite a while to um, punch everything and decorate everything so I'm going to say it's quite chunky and we'll leave it at that. So you open it up and on the first page is a little side pocket. I've used cream card uh, white paper so it's a little bit of a mishmash but thankfully all the colours are nicely within the kit anyway and then there is a little money envelope here that's made up all you have to do is cut it out with a little ah, done it again if she is good at this a little notey um, writing bit which I seem to have clipped on the edge there with the glue and it's plain inside but it's a nice little place to keep special things out of public view or little notations that you don't want everyone seeing. Then there is a lovely lovely envelope for storage if that's what you wanted to do and then in behind all of that just an ordinary uh, postcard. I put the postcard stamp on the back and uh, you know it could be sent out if that was what you wanted to do. It's entirely 
up to whoever owns or makes this kind of thing. I've used a lot of the background pages. There were four in different colours and cut about bits and pieces and lined them on card to make them substantial and then inked around with Victorian velvet and it just all sits together really really nicely but now you're going to see what I mean about lots and lots of pages that you can write on or indeed add photographs to if you wanted to. Again it's down to individual taste. Then there were a couple of smaller pages like this that just are pretty to look at and a blank page there more of the background with beautiful I just love these images they really in my opinion don't need a great deal done to them to make them look any better than they are I just think they're gorgeous um, a little bit of stenciling there another page I've tried to spread things out I really didn't mean for this to be as chunky as it is and to have so many pages in it but you know it's that old adage I've started so I'll finish and to get the waterfall effect throughout it did need a great many pages to fill up the allocated space another image there and so on and so forth a plain page here as I say you can write in it you could add photographs to it you could just meander through it and enjoy all the glorious images the colors are lovely they just all blend in together I've made a faux pocket here with the background and there's another little writing area here totally plain but how pretty is it I just absolutely excuse all the noise and so on it's just dinner time for the dogs and it's chaos as it always so you know we have to work with what with what's going on and then these pockets are actually a part of the kit the side on pocket so I just lined behind so you have a little bit of a tuck spot here to put things in a lovely tag that then sits into the pocket like so all of these edges have been punched to make lacy because I think the images are very feminine not just because they're floral I think it's that wash again with um, that sort of watercolor paint look another tag here all lined slotted into the belly band and then I've used one of the little stamps that was in the image if I lift it up for you and just put that across the front to make it extra pretty a couple of blank pages here and there but it is what it is you know you can it, it's it's quite a versatile make I did want to have a try at the um, waterfall scenario purely because it is so so popular at the moment and it's nice to try these different things another little tag but this has only got the one pocket there is no room to add a tuck spot in the back there because I've glued everything down more plain another pocket with another tag some of the things are repetitive but you know with this amount of pages your options are quite limited if you want to use the kit when I use someone's digital kit I don't like to use other images from other kits or other people's kits I like to keep it down to that design now because I think the hard work that goes into putting these kits together is no small thing and it needs to be you know seem to be a, a little work of art all of its own and then in the back another little tuck spot here with another little writing spot here there wasn't an envelope with this one so I've just kept it plain but it will fit into that envelope if needs be another glorious envelope here and then another matching postcard just to finish off the whole 
event and, and you know I really am very pleased for a first attempt at how this waterfall scenario has come together. I don't know that I would want to make too many in the um, format that I've used here because it is a huge amount of work. There, the pages are only stitched in with a pamphlet and then reinforced but when you see it open here that's when you get the full effect and the size and volume of all the pages that are within so it does make a very very nice little gift or you know a, a little journal diary as I've already said so I hope you've enjoyed this little walk through with the um, project that I've used the summer meadow with and as always thank you for your time and thank you for sharing with me take care and stay well bye bye for now